Hey, it's Janet Bosky. Today I want to talk about how I designed my book cover for my third poetry book, Neon Sun. So if you are familiar with me, you would already know that my previous books just had images of me on the cover. And so with Neon Sun, I knew I wanted to do something different. If you are not familiar, I will quickly show you what they looked like, just to give you an idea of differences. So this was my first poetry book, Bones. It's very dark. X, this is my second poetry book. There's a bit of darkness, but also some lights playing with the shadows and the sunlight. Now with Neon Sun. This is what it looks like. Understanding that my previous books were both images of me, I knew with Neon Sun I wanted it to be very different. I didn't want to limit Neon Sun with anything real, like an image. I either wanted it to be a simple illustration, a colour, or a mix between the two. The reason behind this is because Neon Sun is about love. It's about a more considered approach to being in love and expressing that love. Also the way that I view and express love in a romantic sense. Before I actually sat down to look at what I was going to do for the book cover, I did a lot of research. I researched books that were about romance, about love, about relationships, and I found a lot and I found that they were all quite similar. I didn't necessarily like them. I didn't think that they were my style or taste. So with Neon Sun, I knew I wanted it to be relatively modern with a touch of elegance, which is where the Art Deco font plays an amazing part. <laughs> the illustrations in the book are also inspired by Art Deco style. I also think the colours complement each other quite beautifully with the pale pink, the greys and the white. The beauty of this is that everyone has a different perspective of how they view love and the colours they think about when they think about love or what reminds them of love. You may not even picture a colour, you possibly just picture someone that you love. So to me, this is the perfect book cover. <laughs> it portrays exactly what I wanted it to, where everything can be appealing from the exterior, and it's not really until you reach the depth where you will find the true intentions of a person or their heart. Beneath the rip in the background, there is a repetitive I love you, which supports that. The rip is to show that we all have layers and also to express that there's already a willingness to be open and vulnerable with somebody, which is imperative to love. This is also due to the fact that Neon Sun is about the love expressed from within, not love of self, but the capacity at which you can love somebody else. Because to express love and do so in a way which upholds its meaning, you already possess it. You have that love within you. So with Neon Sun, the description, its concept, its content, it's not about promising anything forever. It's about a more mindful approach to love, where it's expressed in the now, every day, every moment. I don't like putting a time on love. What I mean by that is I, I don't necessarily like that I will love you forever. Time will pass regardless of you saying that. <laughs> so with Neon Sun, again, it's just a more mindful approach and recognizing the importance of loving somebody else in your now, in every single moment, in every single day. To elaborate on the cover and why I decided to do the rip with the background being the repetitive I love yous, it's because it's one thing to feel that you love someone, but it's another to actually express it. So the point of the symbolism of the rip and the inside it being the repetitive I love you is to show that this feeling comes from the depth of my soul. And there are layers to get to the center of it, but I am willingly opening it and being vulnerable with you to show you that this is the epitome of love. The cover is also neon sun on muted colors because it's not really about the sun it's about what the sun represents which is consistency warmth and also the inability of astronomers for being able to measure how much neon is actually within the sun which in this book is a metaphor for love the back of the book, which is completely separated by the rip, is to express the difference in the time of day. The blurb on the back gives this away. 
it makes a reference to the moon, so it differentiates between day and night while still committing to the same metaphor of love being found in consistency and the inability to measure its abundance. Some say I love you to the moon and back, but that's only a few days. With patience, we could celebrate every now, no matter the phase. 